morning and welcome to this celebration of a pit stop on this journey of ours. We've been on this journey for a while now, swinging our arms and collecting memories as we go. In our childhood, we collected precious memories of Kim Possible, Spongebob, High School Musical, etc, etc. As we continued on this journey of ours, we stumbled upon our biggest challenge yet. High school. Now it's true. I cannot speak for everyone's experience of high school, but I will say this. Everyone went through it together. The classes, the early mornings, the surviving on only eight minutes of freedom between periods. And in the end, we all made it out alive. All the while collecting a fountain of memories. The good, the bad, and sometimes the ugly. From hanging out with your buddies, if we're in person, this is generally the time you give them the look. Game night and performance day to the unforgettable prom that never happened. The ugly is just mostly pertaining to the freshman PE uniforms. Recently, we have picked up some unexpected memories because of this pandemic situation. Yes, what happened to our senior year because of it was not fair. However, seniors of 2020, we don't want to just be remembered as a class that everyone pitied. We want to be remembered as a class who was able to move forward despite the circumstances. This means trekking through this chaos storm towards our futures, just as we were going to, whether it's the military, college, a job, or clown school, and psst, folks, we're already doing it. This also means not letting this situation make us forget what is really important here. Appreciating everything from the last four years, like the friends, family, and teachers that helped us at our worst. Bad presentation, anyone? The memories you'll never be able to forget, even if you wanted to, like thoroughly. And I mean thoroughly embarrassing yourself with your friends or just talking to them because they were there for you. And the effort we put in that will prepare us for the future. Pretty soon here, we will each start on our own path. And hey, whatever it is that you want to do, it will be difficult. So, in the words of the movie Aladdin, remember this. You're only a fool if you give up. Seniors of 2020, we are coyotes. We are not fools. Get out on your journey and make it everything you've dreamed of. Thank you. Whether the memories of the last few years of high school bring back feelings of joy and laughter, the long and studious nights of football plays or math equations, or perhaps some of sorrowful loss, or regret of goals not achieved to the fullest. The great news is we are all stepping into a new chapter, with new environments and new opportunities all the same. With the bright future ahead and nothing holding us back, may the rest of our lives indeed be the best of our lives. We must remember that the shadows will always fall behind when our faces are towards the light. As for our pursuits going forward, I implore you, fellow 2020 graduates, to not be like dogs chasing cars, simply throwing themselves at their goals for the mere sake of trying and not knowing what to do once they get there. Instead, let us hold on to the passions that drive us, stay close to those who run with us, and pay respect to the parents, teachers, and lifelong friends that have devoted their runs for us. With some 400 of us standing separated but united in graduation, I remind us that this next season is ours alone. No one else can make the decision for us to keep going with that same spirit of coyote excellence. In fact, there will be many in our paths that will tell us we cannot, that it's impossible, improbable, or unrealistic. So, to those who might dare stand in our way, and for those who stand with us in this great feat of graduation, I say that truly, this generation of capable graduates has been prepared for such a time as this, to bring our best and to change the world. Thank you. Everyone has dreams, and we all want to make a difference, and we all want to do something with our lives. A lot of people give up on their dreams once they reach the real world because they realize that failure is always an option, but they forget that so is success. And we may not accomplish our dreams, but let it not be for lack of trying, and let it not be because we are too afraid to take that shot in the dark that probably led to failure but could have led to success. And the chances of success may be a million to one. And you probably aren't that one. You're probably just like everyone else. But if you are that one, and you never tried, and you never failed, and you never learned, then your chances of success are zero to a million. 
So how do we get over that inevitable and overwhelming fear of failure? Our science teachers might tell us to use kinetic energy rather than potential energy. Stop waiting for things to happen and take charge. Our English teachers might say that there's always room for improvement, so don't give up on yourself until the work is finished. Our math teachers might tell us to not forget to carry the one. Every second matters and any contribution is helpful. And don't forget to help those in need. And our history teachers might tell us that we can learn from our past to create a better future. Thank you teachers for all you do, especially in these difficult times. We are pretty sure you're not in it for the money. And thank you staff for helping make our senior year as rewarding as possible. And thank you guests for helping support our graduates in ways we can't even imagine. As we're all about to start the first day of the rest of our lives, we should refuse to shrink back, let up, slow down, back away, or be still. Thank you. Good morning, class of 2020 and parents. I'm Abigail Switzenberg, the 2020 senior class president. I want to start off by saying congratulations for getting this far and persevering through these last couple months. We were born in the wake of 9-11 and now we graduate through a pandemic. I want to take a moment to thank our wonderful administration and staff for providing us the all the necessary resources to end the school year successfully. You guys are amazing and we have all adapted so well to our new normal. If this year did not show you how strong the class of 2020 is, I'm not sure what will. Freshman year, we walked into high school not knowing what to expect. Some of us simply walked with our heads down and avoided eye contact at all costs, while other of us acted like we owned the place. Sophomore year was weird because we were just somewhere in the middle. We weren't necessarily at the bottom of the totem pole anymore, but we definitely weren't near the top. Then junior year came around. We were faced with ACTs, SATs, AP classes, and starting to decide what's next. Junior year can also be known as the year of stress. Now, senior year, some of us had an exact plan for what comes next, and others were just waiting for something to come. We attended our last homecoming, our last football game, and unknowingly our last day of high school and shelter in place. We walked out of school that day thankful for spring break and weeks later we just wanted to get back to the place we always wanted to leave. We hope to go to an amazing prom the junior class worked so hard on but sadly we are hit with the pandemic that no one could have predicted. Our senior year is a prime example of why you should live every day like it's your last. I hope you all have a plan now and I hope you persevere and do what you were meant to do. Now, I'd like to present the senior gift to the 2021 student body president, Jacob Braid. On behalf of the class of 2020, we present you with the digital scoreboard table, which we hope will enhance volleyball, basketball, and all other events in the gym, new lunch tables, and a soda fountain for concessions. I hope you all the best, and congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you. Dear class of 2020, just like you, I'm completely heartbroken with how our senior year has ended. Right now, our world is full of uncertainties, emotion, confusion, and fear. Fear of what is coming next and unsure what the future holds. Please find this speech to be one of hope and encouragement from myself to you personally. A quote that has continuously gotten me through my high school years has been, the best views often come after the hardest climb. Seniors, we are on our climb right now. This might be one of the hardest climbs of our life, but we are on our way to a beautiful destination. Soon we will be on a new adventure in our new life, but in order to get there, we must overcome this climb. Class of 2020, we are strong and we will continue to overcome this together. We were born in the midst of the 9-11 emergency and we are graduating during a national emergency pandemic. We are starting a new chapter of our lives during such a challenging time. During this time, we will continue to stand together, fight through the challenges, and grow stronger together as a generation. As the future leaders of this nation, we will be better leaders because of this current pandemic. We will be stronger because of this. I would have never have thought I would be giving a graduation speech virtually and no one would have ever guessed that there would be a global pandemic in our way of finishing our senior year. There is no question that we were completely robbed of our senior year, but we must adapt and grow from the situation. We will survive through this tough time and better yet, we will come out even stronger after this. We will not be forgotten as a senior class. We will always be remembered for our challenging times and how we overcame them. This is a time of hope and excitement. As seniors, we must focus on the future and what lies ahead of each of us. This is a time to reflect back on the four amazing years we had at Centennial and to cherish the irreplaceable memories. 
Regardless of how our senior year has ended, I am so thankful and honored to have been your student body president this year. Seniors, enjoy your climb while we can. We are on our way to the most beautiful destination. I wish you all the best of luck in your future plans. I'm confident that our class will be one of the most successful classes because of the unfortunate events given during our senior year. We are strong and we are coyotes forever. Class of 2020, congratulations.